Or something, or yeah, it seems that he's on a rescue mission from what I can gather. Oh, all right. So he's out to rescue. Yeah, yeah that's that's um, Nick Nick Ebden. I yeah, think yeah. Is, is it Urban Ed Meister three? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I noticed still all the comments. Was it this morning when I sent the message? As I said to you earlier, YouTube's fucking about with all the messages and stuff. Yeah. I, I noticed your uh, message from seventh today, Joe. Yeah. No worries. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Where you mentioned Nick, you know, and then I've got a, a message from Nick on Facebook saying to get in touch, and I wonder what that was about, and then saw uh, the comments that had been leaving. So I contacted him, I'm going to be meeting up with him on Monday, so... Uh, oh, tell, yeah, tell, tell him we send our regards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if, if he wants to come for a little holiday. No, we got your room. <laughs> Yeah, I, I just wanted to confirm with you that he wasn't a troll because they they do shit like that. They go, oh, I'm such and such as friend, and they try and infiltrate that way. But yeah, he's an authentic oh, yeah, person. So, tricks, yeah. So yeah, if he's a mate of yours, all good. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, friends who I've known him for a bit of a long way back. Um, I haven't seen him for years, you know, but. Uh, yeah, we've got lots of new threads. Um, as I said, it, it all goes back to uh, like the negative spreading quicker than the positive. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah. You know, it's it's good news, isn't it? Bad news always travels but I think it seems to be the case in, in this instance. You know, uh, the negative travels faster, people get concerned and yeah. that starts spreading. And, and then, then all the trolls jump straight in going, oh, he's done this and that, and they, they seem to cotton on to that rather than not any but, of the good stuff. This is it. I know just in one of the comments, he said that he'd been researching it for three days and he's come to this conclusion. He had the conclusion which you can quite clearly see is being steered and directed by the trolls, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, but, um, yeah, I'll have a chat with him and, uh, you know, just tell the truth and, you know. <laughs> and, and, of course, the other point is, too, that, that you know, most people won't get it because it's only the very few. That's why Joel up there, from the very, very few that recognise you and love you. That's the whole point. There were eight people on the ark, Dex. Eight, yeah, people, yeah. Eight, eight people saved when that world was destroyed. Eight only. So, you know, if you do the numbers on that, what the population of the world is today, I worked out, I, I actually worked out some, I extrapolated and all the rest of it. No, I worked out something like 450 adults <laughs> out of the whole world's population as a percentage based on the, the arc, mm. not counting the children or the weak. There was something like 450 mm. adults mm. that uh, um, would be on the arc, if you like. It's not a lot, is it? Amongst <laughs> when, you put, when, you, when, you, when you do the math, it's not a lot. So... Uh, <laughs> You've got to look at it from the point of view that it's not an evolving thing that uh, all dots have got, got to be connected in some way that you can uh, look up the fossil record. Uh, what it is is that when one uh, era is finished, the page is turned and you have a complete new creation the next morning. So uh, there are people that are actually getting onto the idea that when creation occurred, it was a mature creation not a two babies dropped into the Garden of Eden and had to be nurtured up until they were 21 years of age. They were created in the adult form. Same applies when you say, oh, we have the flood story. Okay, is it worldwide? Yeah, so everyone's dead, yeah. And what about the, the, the year after that? Well, the creation takes place again. So people are walking around, the Aboriginals are walking around as if they have a memory of the last 10,000 years when they don't because they didn't exist a year ago. So the modern idea has got to be um, revamped, so to speak, to look at it from the point of view that when the creator creates something, it doesn't have to take 10 billion bloody years. It can take two minutes. It's only a thought which becomes your reality and physical reality. And you carry around in your mind the consciousness of the creator to give you the ability because you created an image of it. I mean, a lion or a tiger or an elephant whether they existed last week or not, don't matter to them. All they're interested in doing is running around humping each other. So today, people don't see it that way. They see it in the long, drawn-out, evolutionary 
step by step, day after day, uh, evolving, even though God did it, that's how it is. When in actual fact, that can't be further from the truth. Death's a good example of that. You get a bullet in the head, next year you're in another realm. Hey, there's no Alpha Centauri out there, there's no bloody planets whizzing around, there's nothing. You're in the other realm of the heavenly realm where it is a garden where you're not looking up into space to see what we would have seen on the earth. It's a different thing altogether. I've been there, I can tell you, that's how it is. You relative to experience, it's a bit like a big reset. Yep. That's what we need, isn't it? We need like, uh, you know, even if we go forward with humanity surviving uh, well, a re-education, it has to be a, you know, take out all the indoctrinated crap that people have been uh, subjected to. That's right. So that's the whole point. Humanity is going to survive it and that going to be too many of them. Real kids. So, yeah, you know, it through the eyes of a child. Yep, roll on. Well, that all sounds very good. Yeah. We look forward to that day. Yeah. When, you, when you went to Oxford, you, uh, he just happened to be walking out, John, watch his face, eh? Yes. Yes, they were congregating, five of them, in the courtyard. Their uh, cars, chauffeur cars were there, engines running, and then they were just out chatting and as soon as I walked through the entrance you know, John immediately made eye contact which maintained until I shook his hand and pulled him to the side first so that was handy I managed to get him for three minutes before he you know before we was uh, do you think he was uh, responsive or not he gave good eye contact. He what? And he gave good eye contact, so that that is probably the best uh, yeah, way I can describe his response. Really, from from the initial uh, uh, and then, let's so say when I when I said about Yahweh being back on the earth, that's when it glazed over a bit, and he said. Um, uh, it will be obvious when Yahweh returns. I, I think it will be obvious when Yahweh returns. Oh, it's, it's obviously... Yeah, well, if you read... Is, is that... Sorry? If he watches the DVD, it is obvious. Yeah, exactly. That's... Yes. It's bloody obvious. Well, this is it. I said to him, the evidence is there. I said proof. I stressed... Repeated those words. Stressed them. And the urgency. And, you know, trying to come across passionate and full talk about being, uh, you know, about encroaching on his private face or about being, you know, just trying to be charming, mate. Yeah. Oh, well, we'll see, right? Well, yeah. Good job, anyhow. Yeah. That's it. Well, um, well the, he's got the yeah, opportunity to do it now, that's the thing. It's, you know, that's the sort of thing we need to do, isn't it? try and target people who are going to be most receptive yeah. but conventionally these people don't seem to be so well see looking up. I, I am very very suspect about anyone who's in a university for a start uh, number one that's where the university people the Freemasons set it all up in the first place and uh, Oxford of course is on the river Isis which is a Thames either side of it and um, he's got tenure, so uh, I can't see a man like that being in that position and being tolerated unless he is part of the system that they want someone in there that is part of them. I'm very suspicious of anyone who is actually a university professor and uh, especially working for Freemason universities. Right. I guarantee you, if I walked into the university there where I wanted to debate like Isaac Newton did when they played main hall there, I'd last about two seconds of out in the ass. Well, yeah, they've probably got uh, um, security or uh, 
university security. Oh, well, I don't mean that. I mean, I, I could put in an application. I wanted to have a, a night there. I would not get uh, allowed to do it. But anyone else, whether they are formally Christians and become atheists or atheists become Christians or whatever, they can all get up and have their say. But you see a great majority of people that talk there where former Christians become atheists. That's supported by the university because it's paid for by the fucking Jews. It's all part of the system. So I just said. You, you should uh, go in for Pete's coach. Um, that was AJ Miller. Dress up, get a wig. Oh, you did have a flash, yeah. You'll be able to get in anyway. And then at the end, just break out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then offer self help. <laughs> yeah. Tear off the outer skin of an idiot. And have me on the inside. You'll have to, you have to learn a bit of guitar skills. I, I believe you sing to a mean thing. Oh! It's getting late here actually. It's uh, quarter past one, so All right. a bit of a long day. So I'm going to say good night. But I wanted to wish you a happy birthday. So I sent a message earlier that I wanted to obviously Thanks, say mate. good day and stuff. Now, Appreciate it. Wish you were here. Now, now Dex, um, Getting back to the, the laptop, does that contain other things that Adam was um, getting you the second address for, or, or did you need that? No, 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 no. Okay, good, good man. Okay, that's what he was doing. Okay, good. So you've got the second address, now you can... <laughs> yeah, but the second address is where he is, isn't it? That's right, that's good, that's what that's, he wants. Yeah, but that's where those, those idiots are there as well. No, that's it's all right. No. Yeah, it's all right. No, it's oh, good. It's all, all right. about delivery. It's all good, that's great. Thank you, Dex. All under control. All under control, yes. <laughs> I'm glad you are. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, good job, mate. All right. All right, well, uh, I'll say happy birthday again and uh, I'll speak to you very soon. Yes, yeah, do well, that. I'll take back what I said about Tommy Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Operation complete, sir. <laughs> Let again, I love you. Bye. 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 Love you guys. Bye. 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 <laughs> you realise this is being filmed, don't you? Yeah. Mm. You could tell by the way you were moving the laptop around. <laughs> it's a dead giveaway, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> So, um, what's his name, John? What? Lennox. <laughs> Lennox. Lennox. John Lennox. <laughs> I would be utterly amazed if you come on board. Oh, yeah. I'd say he's the pigeon sitting there representing the devil in the University of Oxford. Mm. Yep, it's a dead giveaway when the eyes glaze over. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> All right.